What's going on? You're watching the district attorney's communications director, Paul Ferris. This is the man ABC7 has been going to to get a sit-down interview with DA Rosales. He declined to give us an interview as well. Well, we can try and set something up at a later date. I've been trying. I even sent an email. I bypassed Ferris, who made no effort to stop me, and I talked directly to DA Rosales. Well, we want to ask you about the Ivan Gabaldon case. That's for another time. We, I tried setting up an interview. I even went to your office. Um, yes, sir, but I, I've already had my schedule filled. I'm sure we can try to set something up next week. But this is strictly about the holidays. <laughs> One of her employees pulls her away from me and starts leading her into the Don Haskins Center. The DA's office is taking heat after a county judge dismissed a capital murder case against Ivan Gabaldon, citing prosecutorial vindictiveness from the El Paso District Attorney's Office. Gabaldon was charged in the deadly stabbing of Juan Garcia Flores after the two men allegedly engaged in a paid sexual encounter. Gabaldon has maintained he killed Flores in self-defense. Assistant District Attorney Curtis Cox upgraded his murder charge up to capital murder asking for the death penalty. Gabaldon's lawyers called foul, saying the DA's office was unprepared and even asked the judge for more time to prepare. The defense asked for a dismissal. Judge Perez agreed with a strongly worded statement, signing a full dismissal order in the case. I wanted to ask DA Rosales if it was her decision to seek upgrading charges against Gabaldon to capital murder and seek the death penalty. I followed Rosales into the Don Haskins Center. Ma'am? I have to insist because you did offer to, your accessibility. I this, sir, but right now this is strictly about the holidays. When you ran for office, joy. you said you would be accessible. And In fact, Ivan Rosales was one of my guests on ABC7 Extra when she ran for office. At that time, she promised accessibility. Uh, Ms. Rosales, let's talk about transparency. Would you be accessible to the press if elected uh, district attorney? And again, we're running out of time, so if you can make it brief, please. Absolutely. That's one of the platforms I've been running on as well. Um, and I've been saying that since day one. The judge's ruling was Tuesday. Now, three days later, Rosales is still unwilling to talk about the judge's ruling, the judge's admonishment to the DA's office or criticism from a defense attorney who was a prosecutor under the previous DA. And we will do that at another time. We can schedule something next week. Sir. Can we do it for Monday? I'll have to check my schedule. But despite the reminder when Rosales ran for office, no interview. Ms. Rosales, I will hold you to that promise if elected district attorney. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. And thank you for joining us. I'm Saul Sainz, and this has been ABC7 Extra. Good night. Muy buenas noches.